That's right, leading up to tonight's vote on the county's largest budget ever, quite a bit of public commentary centered on a relatively small item, an equestrian center in East County, which a lot of callers found outrageous. The horse park, shame on you, Mrs. Diane Jacobs. Before Tuesday night's final budget vote, Supervisor Diane Jacob fielded a number of criticisms for $14 million set aside for an equestrian park in Lakeside, money that critics said should go toward families struggling to pay for their housing during this pandemic. Los caballos no tienen el COVID. Horses are not suffering from COVID. They're not homeless. They're not at risk of becoming homeless. Our families are. I don't know where you get horses before humans, but it's the other way around, sweetheart. It's humans before horses. Supervisor Jacob defended the funding for the first of its kind center, which she said has been in the works since 2012 and is just one part of $100 million in capital projects. She called it an economic engine for the community and the region. All of our capital programs mean jobs. It puts people to work. And if there was ever a time that people need jobs out there, now is the time. In a series of last minute additions, the board also approved $24 million that will fortify an existing rental assistance program, providing $1,500 grants over two months to those struggling financially because of COVID, as well as a million dollars to expand a legal support program for landlords and tenants to help prevent evictions. We don't want to have more people become homeless and create greater instability in our housing market and so also newly added and approved 5.4 million dollars for homeless support services as well as millions more for county road improvements and park services as part of the overall budget more than two billion dollars was approved for public safety despite some residents calls to defund the sheriff department and other law enforcement and this new budget also includes more than $100 million for combating the COVID crisis dedicated to, among other things, testing, medical supplies, and food distribution.